This is your Fox 10 News Now update. And hi everybody, I'm Byron Day. Pritchard investigators still trying to figure out what led to a deadly shooting. A man's body found this morning on East Turner Road. Fox News asking investigators for more details about this case, but they'll only tell us the man's death is being investigated as a homicide. Another man who claims he grew up with a victim telling Fox 10 News community leaders have to do something. So I'm making a plea to the community and our leaders, please, Please stop and for our leaders to finally take a stand and stand in the street and stand with the community activists and end this senseless acts of violence. We have to stop. If you have any information about this crime, call Pritchard PD. A follow up now to breaking news we first brought you last night on Fox 10 News at 10. Aaliyah is still investigating a frightening crash in Foley involving a Foley police cruiser and a car. Investigators say the cruiser was responding to a call with roof lights and siren on when it collided with a car at Highway 59 and County Road 20. A woman and two children were inside that car, all transported to the hospital. No life threatening injuries. A man remains in jail after investigators say he led lawmen on a car chase yesterday from Highway 59 down I 10 in Baldwin County at speeds hitting more than 100 miles an hour. Nicholas O'Kane charged with trying to run from police as well as marijuana possession. He's also wanted on charges in Foley and Robertsdale. And tomorrow, Mobile City Council looking for your input on how to improve police and community relations. A public meeting will be held at 4 o'clock in the first floor auditorium at Government Plaza. Space will be limited due to C-19. We've got details on our website, fox10tv.com. And COVID-19 leading to more cancellations. First, this year's Gulf Coast Hot Air Balloon Festival in Foley won't be happening. The family-friendly event, always a big hit with arts and crafts and kids' activities, balloon rides, and more. Organizers saying, quote, at this time, we strongly feel it would be socially irresponsible to proceed with this event when we're seeing such a substantial increase in the number of coronavirus cases. Hey there, everyone. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Lambers. We had a wet day across the Gulf Coast as we did have some storms push on through. Still seeing a lot of those through this evening and we'll continue to see that line make its way through heading into tonight. So let's go ahead and time it out on our future cast for this afternoon. Seeing a lot of those spotty showers, but mainly going to be seeing that second line of storms pushing through Mobile and Baldwin counties come six o'clock for this evening. So let's make sure for any commutes out there that you are driving safe. Luckily, this will move through quickly by 8 p.m. We're seeing that clearing behind it heading through Florida and the Panhandle. But as we continue throughout the evening times, we cannot rule out any of those isolated showers heading into tonight and tomorrow morning, staying mostly clear. But again, still looking at the potential for some isolated thunderstorms out there. Checking out daytime highs for today on average 91, Brooklyn Field 89, Mobile 86, Pascagoula 91, along with Pensacola. So we stayed slightly on the cooler side. And that was thanks to that rain and that cloud cover. But checking out our day planner for tomorrow. Once again, daytime highs lower 90s continuing to look scattered by the time we get into the afternoon hours, but we're starting off dry so far for the morning. As far as severe weather goes, we are under general thunder, so that's going to be that zero out of five risk zone included for most of our area. Mississippi slightly out of it, but that'll probably change heading into tomorrow. Checking out that full seven day outlook. Rain chances continue for the rest of the week, but temperature is also going to be increasing high of 95 by the time we get to the weekend. But again, rain chances staying mostly at 40% as we head throughout the week with those afternoon showers staying in the picture. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10 News Now. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.